clergy and laity united for economic justice and community allies held a prayer vigil calling for justice and solidarity for vulnerable communities in front of Long Beach, California City Hall on Tuesday, January 31st, 2017 from 4 to 5 p.m. Co-sponsors for the vigil were the Greater Long Beach Interface Community Organization, St. Luke's Episcopal Church, Coalition for Good Jobs and Healthy Community, the Filipino Migrant Center, and Long Beach Immigrant Rights Coalition. Speakers were from Long Beach Immigrant Rights Coalition, Church World Service, Filipino Migrant Center, and Long Beach Islamic Center, along with City Council members Roberta Uranga, Janine Pierce, and Lenny Gonzalez. They spoke about the horrors of Trump's policies and how it has affected undocumented immigrants and Muslim communities. The Reverend Ricardo Avila, Interim Rector of St. Luke's Episcopal Church, was the moderator. I, I do want to say personally that our vestry, kind of our council, voted last week, uh, kind of bravely, I think, to uh, become a sanctuary parish in the Episcopal Church. Alicia Morales of the Long Beach Immigrant Rights Coalition testifies to the fears of being deported and separated from one's family. I am undocumented, so I understand the profound fears and concerns of our families have. When you have the highest power in the country threatening your livelihood, threatening your humanity, threatening your dignity, it makes it very difficult to sometimes wake up in the morning and walk out the door. And I hear this from my families all the time. But I have also learned that our people are very powerful, they are very resilient, and they find a reason to keep going. And as advocates, and I include myself in that narrative, we need to find the strength and we need to be more courageous than our immigrant families because they have more to lose than we do. When conversations around the dinner table include what's going to happen to you, Mom? What's going to happen to you, Dad? What happens if you don't come home one day? We need to realize it's not okay. We cannot allow our society to normalize these attacks that are hurting our people. We cannot allow this administration to relegate people to cages, to jails, and to imprisonment. We cannot let this administration choose who is deserving and who is not deserving because we are all deserving of a better life for ourselves and for our families. In essence, we can't let this administration make people disposable. It's only been a week and a half and we've already seen this administration launch attacks against our immigrant, our migrant, and our refugee communities. And it's gonna take more than just words to defend our community, it's gonna take action. So to give a, a very real example of uh, the threat of deportation that can happen in the community, last year, around the month of, October, of February, a community member by the name of Jose Alvarez was driving near the traffic circle and he had a, a broken taillight. And because of that broken taillight, police officers uh, stopped him and, and questioned him. They later found out that he did have some sort of immigration hold and they, uh, they detained him and they deported him within hours. So before his family could find him, before his family can find him representation, uh, he was already in his home country of Mexico.